whole bowl of Oops. Hello. Hello. Hey, how's it going? So I know one of you, but I'm hearing you guys are pretty great at what you do, so I want to know all of you. <laughs> What kind of music do you guys play? Heavy metal. Heavy metal. So I see. Basically, you all have long hair. I'm guessing that's that's what it's for. You know. Uh, it just comes with. Oh yeah. Shake look. it. <laughs> He's like, get this ponytail out of my hair. <laughs> it's a look. That's for sure. And you guys won um, last week for a Battle of the Bands. Yep. So you're here again to knock it out of the park. So we'll be seeing you again. Look, I got faith in you. I hope so. We got faith in ourselves too. Oh yeah. When writing y'all songs, what kind of mood are you guys usually in? Um, you know, it really varies from from the song. Each song has its own vibe. Some we wrote when we were just pissed off. Uh, other others we just were in. Uh, well, like we were ready to party. Some of them just come to me like naturally. Just think of something, and I'll write, I'll write it down, I'll play it on my guitar, and then I'll come back to it later, add the lyrics, and then it's just a song. I'll get them in the shower. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Best place to <laughs> think shower, <laughs> too. I think we're all just so, like, individually, you know, uh, versed in music that, like, all of us have a different array of how we approach songwriting, but once we finally get something, we present it to everybody and kind of combine all of that together, it ends up being something. That okay. works. Figure it out. That sounds like great teamwork. A lot of people can't do that. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a collective thing. It's not really any one person. How did you guys hear about Battle of the Bands? I work here. <laughs> look, you're, look, you're the plug. You're the plug. <laughs> Guess the plug. <laughs> I mean, we got the, we got the opportunity. And, you know, like, I'm we... I'm only for you guys right now. Just don't anybody come out here and go on. Uh, we, you know, like got the opportunity. We came in, we got through the Facebook round. Yeah, yep. got through the got Facebook it. round, legit and everything. And round two, came in and uh, here, played out right here for hallway. round two. Yeah. <laughs> and had a nice chant going on, and Big apparently won some people over. So, you know, now we're in round three, taking on Rolling Blue, and hopefully we make it over to round four. Oh yeah, fingers crossed. So, how does it feel to play in like Little Caesars Arena? Like, is it just size? Ah, it's okay, or is it like, dude, you know how many people have played here before? Uh, I'm not going to answer that. I just feel like I'm playing at work. So. <laughs> <laughs> to me, it's kind of surreal. Like, because um, three of us were at the last show at the Joe for three days. Yeah. I saw that. Four. Oh, yeah. Wow, you saw that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Rocker. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that Green Day show was... Yeah, oh, that was like was... one of the last shows. I jumped the barrier. <laughs> lights went out. Some real, <laughs> real hood stuff, you know, jumping over barriers really and getting so... into the pit. That was but, uh, a really fun show. Like to be at that last show and then come to LCA where it's like, you know, just Joe Lewis on steroids kind of thing. It's... That's Action. a good one. Okay. Yeah, like it's it's sure. it's really it's cool to be here and to just be able to say like, yeah, we played at LCA and like we can't we don't even need to say we played at Kid Rocks even though like you know they're the ones putting it on like thanks to them, <laughs> but like we were in the hallway we were in, <laughs> in LCA. LCA. Yep, yeah. you guys played in the arena. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so how long have you guys been a band together? We've been jamming for like ten years. Yeah, and like Aaron came in. Two and a half years ago now. Well, we met in high school. Yeah. So like we've all known each other for a really long time. Mm -hmm. um, it's Our been, first what, like, official day of playing was January first, two thousand seventeen, after the ball drop. Oh yeah. my oh, God! You yeah. remember so that? Oh, he yeah. gets, we, he gets we, props we, for that one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 greatest moment of David's life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. But yeah, so like great. it's been it's been two solid two and a half years now. Okay. Of us actually playing and being in this band. That is yeah. good. And where do you guys see yourself in like 
three years. On Everybody says stage. five, so. <laughs> on that stage. Uh, on the road. In, the in, in a decent in van that's still <laughs> clunking a little bit, but we fixed most of the bugs. <laughs> and then, um, <laughs> really <laughs> tired, have beards about down to here. Yeah, that's the next thing. Get, yeah, get, got the long hair. So we gotta go. <laughs> yeah, we gotta get the Kratos. <laughs> yeah. And then, you know, <laughs> playing shows, having more music out and written. And, it's more in the world. Yeah, dude. Be nice. Nice. Living the dream. <laughs> okay, so I do want to know what feeling do you guys feel when you're on stage? Like, is it like a just an amplifying, just rush, or is it like I've been here before, I can do this? So like, I want to answer this one because the last know. time, so last time when we were <laughs> at playing the the second round and like getting into it with all the other eight bands that we played with that night, I had taken. Uh, I drank a whiskey sour, so I was trying to hold some Jameson down. <laughs> and I always get nervous right when we're setting up and like we're on stage and like being the vocalist, I don't have a lot to set up, so I'm like helping them, but then I'm just kind of standing there and looking at the audience. Like a pretty. Yep. And I was standing there trying to keep some Jameson down, but as soon as the music hits, like all of that goes away and it's just us four in a zone playing music together. At least that's how I feel. Yeah. yeah. We all just have that chemistry. We're all on the same page. Every week. Um, I don't know. It's just energy. Like, raw power takes over. I can't see anybody. It's my set. <laughs> <laughs> I, have a, I have a massive drum set and a lot of hair, so that's it's difficult to see anybody. So I'm just in my own little world. This so you don't even get stage fright. You're just like no, I'm at home. <laughs> it doesn't matter anymore. I've, He's got a nice thing. I've done it enough. Built around. That's pretty much how I feel too. Yeah. <laughs> It's a comfortable area. It's not like, oh man, I gotta do this again. Like it's this is like okay, you know, I'm gonna play to my friends and you know anybody that's a fan of us is a friend of mine and oh, yeah. we're sure there. So yeah, it's just and we it's usually play really relaxed. We like to take off our shoes. I don't, I don't ever take off. my shoes off. Shoes I work hard off. to get these shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I flaunt them on stage all I want. <laughs> my, my feet get overheated all the time, so I just got <laughs> cool socks. <laughs> um, as far as your instruments go, how long have you guys been playing them, or like, did you have to take lessons, or was it just like? Uh, Kevin came up to me one day in middle school, and he was like, "Hey, man, you own a bass guitar, right?" Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we played. Uh, uh, what was it a middle school? talent show oh. and uh, that's where we actually met Dave and then we yeah. started jamming like right after that. They were in 8th grade, I eighth was in 6th grade. Yeah. I, I went and saw about that talent show 12, but didn't 13. go to school. <laughs> 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 oh, you were yeah. new into that. That's yeah. great. That I've is never knew awesome. That. <laughs> that's like a very small world like you guys yeah. were destined yeah, to play crazy. together. What do you do with stalking us? I day? was there to see um, one of my friends, like girlfriends, okay. singing or whatever. Yeah. It was, it was, uh, Brittany. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Cool. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. But yeah, I, I, I took uh, guitar lessons for like six months, and then I just said screw the lessons and kind of taught myself. And I've been playing for like 12 years, so I think that's about right. Yeah, 12. I've been playing chords about like how long ago? Never. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've been playing drums since like two and a half years old. Uh, started out with my pots and pans set with the wooden spoon drumsticks, as most drummers start out. Oh yeah. And then uh, upgraded to a little cheap drum set, like mini drum set, <laughs> at like four years old. Rocked that out for a few. Got the drum set I got packed up over there in 2007. I was nine years old. And been playing, yeah, since two and a half. So, uh, math, help me. <laughs> yeah, 18 and a half years. <laughs> there you go. Well, that's I'm, a long time. Yeah, I'm not good at math. Sorry. Neither am I. You can, <laughs> can count to four. I can count to four. That's, that's about it. Mean. I have been singing since like fourth grade. Uh, I've always just liked singing, and I was in like choir when I was at the school that I was at before I met all them, and I did musicals and plays and all that fun jazz. So I was like a big theater kid. So I learned how to project and then, you know, always had some roots in, in rock and roll and metal. So I kind of evolved out of just being a theater kid and into more of a being able to actually do some, some real rock and roll. 
So it is is it a different feel from what you used to sing? Oh, absolutely. 100%. Because what I used to sing was like... The man of God, the man of God. <laughs> 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 what well, it used it to be in like... to like, yeah. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it was, uh... It was like I was in choir back in elementary school and like part of high school before I met all them. Um, so a lot of it was like church music at first and then gay show tunes, gay show tunes and then, uh, you know, then yeah, metal music. It's okay. I got my rainbows. <laughs> but yeah, so like, it's definitely a different vibe, but like it, it works well together. We all have different influences. Yeah. So if anybody wants to find your music, where would they go? They can go to Apple Music, they can go to Spotify, they can go to Google Music, they can go to Amazon Music, they can go to all these other crazy streaming services that we don't even know what they're called. www.blackheron.com That's www.blackheron. It is not heroin. Don't ask. .com We've done enough of that. Uh, you can find our events, upcoming shows, all that. Um, I think there should also be links to all of our social media, our Facebook, our Instagram. There's the events page, yep. the handle, Bandcamp so. link. Oh yeah, that's okay. important. Buy something. Buy something. <laughs> Stop streaming. Just Stop buy streaming. something already. Yeah. Buy a physical copy. We, got, we need we a van. Yeah, we need a van. We, we need a van. We're going to yeah. That's out. That's five dollars for five songs. There's an you album get it, coming we'll out ship soon. It to you. There's a new album coming out soon. Sometime we've got t-shirts, we've got Before stickers, tool. Before tool. we've got a bunch of other crazy stuff, oh, not no. really, but no, like no, they're no. coming soon, don't worry. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, buy something, because that supports us directly. For sure. Direct support is always needed. Oh, yeah. Okay, thank you guys for interviewing with me, thank and you. I hope you have a great show. Thank, thank you. you. I hope you win. <laughs> <laughs>